What, what did you think about those, those changes in cultures when the 60s happened? Well, the 60s, were, uh, you have to divide the 60s into before 1964 and after 1964. Okay. Before 1964, they were a continuation of the 50s. I lived through this, so I'm speaking from I know. Knowing, That's why I'm know. picking your brain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they were a, a period of quiet, repressed, uh, understatement, hedging, compromise, great. They were a great period. With 64, two things happened. The Berkeley Student Rebellion, which was the beginning of the new left, they actually formulated their position to SDS in 1963 in Port Huron, Michigan. 64, they began the student rebellion and the rise of the hippies and jippies and violence. And that was one thing. The other was the defeat of Goldwater. Goldwater was the best candidate we've had in the 20th century. Ayn Rand supported him. They had some correspondence. He admired her to some extent. She admired him to some extent. He got killed in the election, right? He lost by a landslide. He carried only two states, Mississippi and Alabama. And that showed the left that they had control. So the student rebellion and the Goldwater defeat meant that from then on, it was the decade of drug, sex, rock and roll, right? The later we go in the 60s, the worse things get to the late 60s. There's the Columbia student rebellion echoing Berkeley, which I was fighting against at Columbia. I was a Columbia graduate student. I was kept out of my classroom by the takeover of Hamilton Hall in 1968. I was out on campus with a little booth, abolish SDS. SDS was the main, you know, organization. Do you have pictures of that? There is one picture of a group of us. There were seven objectivists who formed a little club at Columbia. I tried to shout Mark Rudd down with the bullhorn. He had a bullhorn. I got a bullhorn, went to Sir bought a bullhorn, and started saying, what you're seeing here is the initiation of physical force on a grand scale. This is wrong. And he stopped, you know. And you know what happened? What happened? The police came and made me move. You moved? Me. No. I said, wait a minute. You mean... <sighs> He can get up there and talk with the bullhorn to shut down the university, and I can't stand here and defend it. And the cop's answer was, unfortunately, he has the permission of the university. Oh, now, wow. there you have altruism. Right. Turn the other cheek. If they're attacking you, if they're criticizing you, give them a microphone. Let them assemble. <clears throat> if you want to defend the rights of the institution, no, you don't get to do that. We've got to be humble. We've got to listen to our enemies. We've got to love thy neighbor and thine enemy. Right. As the, you know, so that's altruism. And uh, anyway, it became more and more violent. Uh, they went after the, the moderates. They didn't go after us. Right. They kind of liked us, that we were extreme on the right as they were extreme on the left. Right. So they it's let like us you, be. You can survive. Yeah, let us be. <laughs> They didn't know that that was going to pay on the long run because the battle no, of ideas no. will eventually be won. By because us. Marx says ideas are nothing. Right. What counts is the economic conditions and the class struggle. And ideas are just a superstructure imposed on it. 